My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Health, Senator Gallagher. It has been four weeks since the Australian Bureau of Statistics published data showing a 67 per cent reduction in Australia's monthly birth rate between July and December 2021 as compared to the long-term average. A startling decrease. I drew attention to this data during Senate estimates, hoping for some reassurance. None was forthcoming. So let me ask again, Minister, why has Australia's birth rate declined from, from June 30, 2021 to December 31, 2021, revealing a 70% reduction? Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister. Thank you, President. And, um, I thank Senator Roberts for the question and I recall the discussion that we had at Estimates and the fact that um, certainly um, we requested from Senator Roberts uh, some time to go through the information that he tabled in that hearing. I haven't got that information back, but I, I think the advice given um, by the Chief Health Officer, who I was sitting next to, or Chief Medical Officer, and uh, myself was that, that the data that you were using was, didn't align with, with information that we had, that we hadn't seen a drop off of that size. That would be quite noticeable. Uh, and in fact, that that financial year of reporting, which incorporated births, was actually the strongest birth record uh, achieved so far, that we'd seen more births um, during that period of time. So, I, but I do, I do think we have to come back to you because you tabled some documents in that meeting. Um, the Department of Health took them away and if there's anything further I can advise you, um, I will do so. Thank you, Minister. Senator Roberts, first supplementary. Thank you. Minister, that's not as I remember it, but we'll, we'll wait for your response to come back. Is there any systematic information sharing between the Australian Bureau of Statistics and Department of Health to keep an eye on key indicators reflecting on our COVID measures, or does the Australian Bureau of Statistics just publish critical data like this in due course and hope that somebody notices at some time? Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister. Uh, well, the ABS, uh, thank, thanks, President. I thank Senator Roberts for the question. ABS does uh, work alongside other um, departments very closely with the data they are collecting um, and uh, keeps an eye on, on tracking any significant changes. So, if the ABS saw something in their data that would concern them, which I would imagine the, the um, numbers that you're citing about declines in birth numbers in one month uh, would, would raise um, attention, um, would be dealt with across government. Um, certainly the ABS is looking at, um, I think ABS in their cause of death popul uh, publication did report that there had been 15 deaths due to the COVID-19 vaccine in 2021. And that was against uh, vaccinations of 42.5 million vaccines administered in that year. Thank you, Minister. Your time has expired. Senator Roberts, second supplementary. Thank you, President. Minister, what specifically is the government doing to get to the bottom of this staggering decline in births? Minister. Um, thank you. Well, to the first thing, and I, I, I remember this quite clearly from estimates, was that we undertook to have a look at the information that you had tabled in that hearing um, and align that with some of the data that the APS was actually collecting. They collect their um, births and deaths data as soon as they are available based on data from the state and territory registries of births, uh, deaths and, ma and marriages. Um, but I think from the first thing we need to do is, is get to the bottom of the numbers that you had um, provided uh, and just make sure that um, the data that we got from the ABS, certainly that I saw in that hearing, didn't align with those numbers that you had tabled. Thank you, Minister. Senator McDonald.